Hi kids, it's time for another Art with Miss Lechner. Today I'm going to share a book with you by the author-illustrator Elise Hurst. She is the author because she writes the words for the book, and she's also the illustrator because she uses black pen ink and oil paints to create her drawings to help tell her stories. Elise Hurst was inspired by two authors, Beatrix Potter, who wrote a lot of the stories like A Tale of Peter Rabbit and several small other little animal books. You might have even checked some out in the library. I think Mrs. Jordan has some in there as well. She also was inspired by C.S. Lewis and his Chronicles of Narnia, where there are talking animals in a magical land called Narnia. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did, and then we will do an art project afterwards only using the color black to create a magical cityscape. Enjoy! Imagine a City by Elise Hurst. Imagine a train to take you away. Imagine a city and drops of rain. A world without edges where the wind takes you high. Where buses are fish, fish fly the sky. Imagine the stories and measureless treasure where you will sit with me as the gargoyles sip tea. The world is your teacher. The past carries on and sunlight is breathed into a murmuring song. Imagine the wonders of such a land. Imagine it all in the palm of your hand. What if? All right, we're gonna draw our imaginary city um, as inspired by our book. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a triangle like this. And then at the end of my triangle, I'm going to draw two parallel straight lines. And then I'm going to come down here and draw a horizontal straight line and the same on the other side. And then I'm going to create a line that is diagonal but meets our horizontal line from in the back to give our cityscape. And then if you remember in the story, there was all kinds of animals and people walking around. So I'm going to draw a line going up like this for my building. And then I might draw some windows on the side. And then over here, you can draw the entrance to the building. So maybe we might imagine this as the candy shop. So I could write that over the doorway, candy. Maybe I might draw some lollipops sticking up, like part of the sign. Maybe a candy bar. Maybe some other candy, wrapped candies off the sign. And then the owner of the candy shop, I think we can make a cat. So we can draw the cat in. And I'm gonna put the cat in a dress because you remember the animals were walking around like people in the story. Should make her smile a little more. She works at the candy store. She's happy. Draw her tail on the back. And there's her little cat feet. 
And then over here on this side with my city building, I could draw, again, some more windows back here. I'm gonna use a circle shape this time because we're imagining a make-believe city that's come to life. And then again, the doorway here. Those circles make me think of a fish. So maybe I might make this some kind of restaurant so I could write that down. And then make my fish an owner. So I might draw a curved head and a little fish face. And then I'm gonna put him again in some clothes Instead of a hand, I've got a fin there. And there's his little outfit for the restaurant. And then instead of legs, I'll do his fish fins. And then if I wanted to, I could add some kids here like we did in the story where they were walking around looking. So you could even add yourself in the middle looking at all the wonderful things in this imaginary city. Now our author illustrator, she kept her drawing in black and white and you can do that if you want to after you get it all drawn, you can. Or if you want, you can add some color to it. So I look forward to seeing what kind of imaginary cities you make with the animals running the city.